Right, so we're joined today by Ndate Charlie Mulebo, who is the Liasa president. And I'm going to be asking him basically about Liasa, as well as the conference that's going to be taking place from the 1st of October to the 4th of October, 2024, at the ICC in Durban. Ndate Charlie, um, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. I'm so thrilled to have you here as my first guest. I am excited. Me too. Yeah, I am excited. <laughs> Dr. Charlie, um, can you please just give us a background of the Liasa Conference as well as why one should attend the Liasa Conference this year? Okay. Um, the conference this year's theme is libraries in the age of democracy. So why we chose the theme is centered around uh, the 30 years of democracy. But at the same time, we want to take stock because Liasa for the first time it has transitioned from a voluntary association, which was run by executive committee and uh, and a representative council into a King Four compliant organization that is run by the board. Um, so it's the first time that the board is hosting its conference. So and uh, two, what we did this year, we 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 went back where we started. We brought. Uh, Dr. K. Rasiroke from, from Botswana, who is a former Ifla president, first black woman, first African, first black woman as an Ifla president, to be part of the conference just to give us lessons from the past. Um, it's, it's, our, our program is it's, it's quite chock a block. We, we open on the day. We're hoping to have the minister. He has confirmed he'll be available. Unless something urgent comes in, you know, with politicians and, mm -hmm. and government. But he has confirmed, so we'll have the Honorable Gaitin McKenzie mm. uh, officially opening. Our guest speaker for, for the first day, it will be Zanel and Zappa from the Unlearning um, Organization. And then on the second day, we have Musa Zulu. Musa Zulu is a person who's living with disability. And... Um, and, and is a writer, entrepreneur, and, and all of us who will be attending the conference will get his copy of the book. Mm. Um, and, and so, and uh, on the last day, uh, we'll have Professor Olubaro, who is the Dean of, of, of Computers at, uh, at the Devon University of Technology. So as you can see, we've got a great lineup of great speakers for the conference. It surely is a great lineup of speakers. Now, I noticed that um, with the new board members that have just been newly elected, um, there are certain changes that are going to be taking place. Is there anything that you'd like us to um, know about any changes, perhaps, especially for young people? As you might have already observed, the board is younger, mm. uh, is vibrant. Um, we, we, we hope that um, uh, uh, young people would also take up what we have done uh, I think members consciously chose a very young board because the library profession is changing. Mm. The complexity of the library profession is changing. So, so what we what you can look forward to is that all these uh, sectors. Remember, we've got about six sectors. All these sectors on a Wednesday they are going to meet and elect their interim committees that would work with those sector chairs that are coming from the board. So the sector themselves will determine the trajectory in terms of where they want to go as, 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 a, as a sector within the LIS sector. But as, I, as you can see, um, uh, judging from the few events that we have hosted, I, I am very, I'm very hopeful. Actually, I'm excited. And, and uh, we look forward to seeing already, uh, we have been joined by Convention Bureau, who have shown uh, interest in us going forward. Our conferences, we are going to host them jointly uh, with the Convention Bureau. So we are going to begin now to take the conferences, not only to the three major provinces, but to, to the all nine provinces going forward. Oh, that is beautiful. Daddy Charlie, thank you so much um, for sharing about the Liasa conference. And I also want to know, before we close, um, is it also open to um, other people who have a general interest in joining the, the, the profession of library and information services? Liasa, uh, membership by its own definition, is people working in an LIS sector or interested in the sector. So anyone who is interested in knowledge management, information management, 
um, uh, archives, uh, all those areas. Once you are instructed in information uh, services sector, you can be a member. And but obviously there is an element of professionalism as a SACWA registered professional body. If you want to have a designation uh, of a professional librarian, you then need to be a qualified librarian, mm. having spent four years at the university and and having worked in a library for at least a year. Only then you will be able to apply for the designation. And and I, I want to say to everyone, if you don't come to Teben, you'll be missing out. Mm -hmm. Teben is the place to be first to the 4th of October.